So warmly welcome for another second day of OSHA training. Uh, today okay, we are welcome. going to discuss uh, uh, some of the practicalities, especially how to identify hazards, different kind of hazards. And before we do some practice, we will discuss what kind of hazards can be there. Sure. And. Uh, before uh, we go for even categorical discussion of hazards, uh, just a quick question to your experience, you know, since you are working for several years uh, in construction or in several industries might be. So what do you think as per your understanding, what are the real root causes of accidents and incidents, you know, why accidents are still happening, even though it's an unwanted event, nobody wants accidents. But still, they are ha happening. You know, a lot of fire incidents, a lot of uh, uh, you know, trip, slip, and fall. Several accidents are happening. You know. So, what do you think? Safety. Okay. You mean nobody uh, follows safety regulations? Safety regulation, yeah, exactly. Oh. For and my uh, self other... or maybe from because of other people. Uh, okay, so any other point coming in your mind? Uh, I think uh, because of rules, uh, not following the rules uh, about the worker or another one, maybe a mistake coming from another one. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. It can be human, it can be unsafe condition, unsafe act, or even might be the overall the poor commitment from the management side. Okay. But out of, uh, you know, since uh, uh, whenever I start uh, most of my safety training sessions, I ask this question to most of the audience and uh, this is the result, you know. You will see how many possible reasons. Like a lot of people mentioned, shortcut is the number one cause. And why people love to take shortcuts? Plenty of other reasons, right? And those reasons, uh, just this as per... Only I know. Yeah, these are the live voting, you know, from different audience, different trainings, several trainees, even I would say more than 95% people mentioned it is all happening because of shortcuts. Even though shortcuts is another way to violate safety regulations or not to follow safety regulations or uh, having some unsafe facts for sure, but uh, plenty of... Uh, root causes of shortcuts can also be evaluated either it's a company pressure or time saving or it's a human nature to do things as quick as possible why we are in a hurry all the time and then a lot of uh, my students they mentioned carelessness that nobody you know they don't want to be careful actually they don't they don't want to be proactive you know while performing any sort of activity. Even yesterday, I hope you remember, we discussed there are three stages before, during and after of any process, before you perform it actually. You surely have to think about what regulations are belong to any particular activity or process of your business or even to the material as well. And a lot of students mention, you know, the ignorance. No attentiveness means no focus. Like uh, a lot of uh, accidents are happening, roadside accident, just because the mind was somewhere else. Like you are driving, but mind is not at the road. Mind is somewhere else actually. Might be you are thinking some business business issues. Might be you have some family issues and you are driving and a lot of people mentioned poor knowledge 
like uh, i hope you have heard these words a little knowledge is a dangerous thing so poor knowledge is one of the uh, terrible reason of these accidents and uh, incidents you know and at number 6 a lot of uh, students mention over confidence oh i am 20 years experience so i don't need to learn anything don't guide me don't tell me anything you know i know how to do it i know the ladder is broken some steps are broken but still i can work i know the scaffolding is not safe but still i can work i know the wind speed is more than 65 km per hour and it's not good for crane operations or rigging and lifting but still i am overconfident i can do it so this overconfidence is another killing point you know and a lot of students mention unsafe facts unsafe conditions defective tools and equipment no use of pp sometime the employer the businessman the safety department safety leadership they have provided the personal protective equipment but they are not using it or might be they are using it the moment you are watching them or the moment you are available at site otherwise they simply damn care what kind of people you are talking about and several guys mentioned no effective trainings trainings are there but effectiveness is missing like trainings are not useful it's hard to understand or probably uh, they are unable to understand the real crux and they are unable to implement in their day to day job operations you know and their competence level is not enhanced because training was not effective and a lot of my students mention excessive workload uh, you know this is another terrible reason excessive your project required is but you have only 50 employees so all 50 employees they are overburdened you know they have excessive workload time the customer is so rushy he wants the job as quick you you know to your works and they became overloaded actually and it created an anxiety terrible negative stresses in their mind a small mistake and it's all over communication a lot of a lot of you know my students mentioned poor communication i'm saying something else and you understood something in like if language barrier let's take an example you can understand arabic and i am talking in english and if you can understand a little bit then still i should maybe be this but in effective way so the other person it would be creating a terrible disaster and sometimes i say more than 90% projects are being failed because or no communication or lack of communication like you men is one of the major reason of uh, or root cause of uh, accidents you know from the poor leadership in top management if they are not committed they don't respect or they don't give any respect to safety regulations and because of certain pressure reaching every day to their employee follow safety follow safety but they are not like uh, uh, leading by example like when they visit the site follow any safety regulations they don't wear ppes no helmet sometimes no safety shoes and he is the general manager of the company or maybe the managing director of the company or might be the president of the company i hope you got the point if they are not leading by example how come they can Uh, you know convince others to follow and give respect to safety regulations a lot of my students they mention no so the they not even perform a small exercise you surely have to get a word and word moment in case of saudi aramco 
a WPR, the work permit receiver must be there, the qualified, the highly educated, knowledgeable person. I call leader also. And some of my students, they mention no joint site inspection. Like before you start any project at any site, properly some analysis and inspection and see what can go wrong, you know, have some deep study of your site. And then accordingly, you must prepare some corrective preventive action plan or control, hazard control plan accordingly. And a lot of students mention no value to safety system actually. Sometimes the companies have safety system but not implemented. Like you have PTW system, permit to work system but not implemented. You have training procedure but not implemented. You have safety policy, but nobody know what is written inside the safety policy. Even as a safety auditor, I have asked several general managers and they don't know either, uh, you know, what exactly is written in the policy while they are the ones sign, signed this policy also, you know. So it's a huge gap. And on the other side, safety is everyone's responsibility. It's a teamwork. Janitor to general manager, everyone is responsible for safety. And a lot of my students mention poor preparation. You are not well prepared and you are starting your project. And no self-realization. This is another terrible phenomenon. Oh, safety is a safety officer's job, you know, not none of my business actually. No self-realization. That is why whenever we sign a consulting project for developing a system or developing a safety system as per international standards or as per Saudi Ramco regulations or as per Saudi electricity, whatever, the moment we develop a safety system, we try our level best. We start from the HR, Human Resources Department, and we tell them Please issue a circular or maybe the upcoming new newly hired employees make sure you sign, you put that clause within their employment agreement, within their offer letter, job offer letter, that safety is your prime responsibility. You are responsible to ensure your safety, you are responsible to follow safety regulations. Your safety, first of all, your responsibility. You are responsible to stop if any sort of unsafe condition or act or any safety violation you observe, you are authorized to stop. If you need some resources in shape of training, you should come to your management that you are not confident or you are lacking some knowledge about that particular area. So please train me. If it is a new job, if it is a new technical process or new machinery, new technology is there, it's your responsibility also to request. Otherwise, the top management must be fully committed proactively. You know. Rather than you are requesting, they know they have to provide proper training. So, in short, let me be more uh, straightforward. No trainings, no developments. So, training and development both are reciprocal. So, that's why I always encourage people never stop learning, never stop your trainings. If you stop your trainings, you are stopping your development basically. Because every day technology is evolving, the artificial intelligence is there, robotic technology, a lot of optimization in our processes, business processes and and we are not ready, we are not uh, training ourselves, you know, as fast as the technology is booming up. Now, uh, since we have evaluated several uh, hidden root causes are there or indirect, you know, root causes are there, but 
can we avoid accidents 100% what is your take on it Hi. yes please yes or no avoid uh, can we avoid accidents mm. incidents 100% can we achieve 100% safety especially in construction 100% like no zero accident zero can we achieve I think no uh, zero accident. Absolutely, you know, but but still we need to train our mind 100% safety as possible, so that we can try for 100%. If our mind will accept 100% safety is not possible, our efforts wouldn't be uh, you know very much aggressive or will not take. Uh, so many initiatives to avoid from any sort of uh, accidents or incidents. That is why it's important to try for 100%, you know. Then, of course, 100% safety still is a, a, a huge question mark. It's not easy at all, but no harm to train our mind. Yes, it's possible 100%. Now, uh, we have another question, hazards which we all face sometimes. What do you think, uh, any, any hazard is coming in your mind? What type of hazards you believe we are facing day-to-day -day basis or dealing to them, controlling them properly? Before uh, going up, uh, power light height uh, more than uh, 50 meters. Okay. So okay. Sh uh, should they have the belt, Excellent. safety belt. So that means working at height is a hazard. Okay. Mm. So that means slip, strips and fall is a hazard. If you have a small safety belt, uh, dangerous for uh, the electrician. Absolutely right. Absolutely. So uh, even for electrician, electricity is another electrical hazard is another category, you know. Yeah. And then if we are using tools and equipment, so mechanical hazards are there. We we are dealing with uh, uh, several excavation and different processes, playing with the nature. That means some sort of uh, toxic gases or chemical hazards could also be there, right? Biological hazards, yes. chemical hazards. So let's list up, and I'm I'm sharing ten categories. I added these slides, especially from Saudi Aramco side, because I like the way they presented, you know, they, they made two categories of hazards. They made only two categories of hazards. One is safety hazards and the other category, major category is health hazards. And what is safety hazard? Anything that can have adverse impact on your safety. And the subcategories like electrical, gravity, mechanical, motion, and pressure. Since I will share this presentation with you, and I hope whenever you get time, you can uh, have some deep study for sure. You know. But these categories are directly belong and comes under falls under safety hazards. And there are certain examples. Examples can be many. But these examples we must be. 400 safety hazard. Sorry. Hmm. 400 safety hazard. Uh, yeah. Sorry. One is safety hazard. Other one is health hazards. And under safety hazard, there are five subcategories like electrical, gravity, mechanical, motion, and pressure. These on the left side, one, two, three, four, five. Five subcategories falling under safety hazards electrical, gravity, mechanical, motion, and pressure. And there are several examples. Like in electrical, power lines is an electrical hazard, transformers, static charges, lightning, energized equipment, wiring, and batteries, even. And gravity, crane lifting operations, I'm sure in construction you would have an idea 
everywhere we have rigging and lifting in Saudi Arabia and uh, mostly projects, they have rigging and lifting process for sure. Excavation, you know, digging out some trenches, falling object, collapsing roof and even body tripping or falling, mechanical should be rotating shots, belts, pulleys, saw blades, mostly the moving parts or any unguarded, you know, any moving parts which are not guarded also, motion could be vehicle, vessel equipment movement, you know, these are examples. Like under sub categories of safety hazard, these are examples. Examples of safety hazards. These are categories of safety hazards and these are examples of safety hazards. We are using compressed gas cylinders, we are having some time hydraulic equipment, etc. Now, if we talk about health hazards, anything, you know, anything that can have adverse impact on your health would be considered a health hazard. Now, health hazard means directly impacting or adversely impacting to our health, like biological, even this coronavirus, this COVID-19, this is also biological hazard. And biological hazards mostly are invisible. But of course, some are visible like animals, bacteria, viruses, insects, bloodborne pathogens, improperly handled food and contaminated water. These are examples of biological hazard. So, whoever want to be a better hazards recognizer or identifier, he must try to understand categorical safety and health hazards and also the relevant examples he must be trained for. So, whenever you will be visiting, immediately you can, uh, your mind will click. Any electrical hazard is there, any biological, any chemical, any radiation. Immediately your mind will start working categorically. Category-wise, you will find the examples and link and complete your risk assessment or uh, job safety analysis or JSI or several other safety documentation you can complete quite easily. If you understand how to identify hazards, you know. And a good safety leader must be capable as a hazards recognizer. He must be competent enough how to identify hazards. Then we have another category like chemical. Examples are dust, fumes, even sandstorm, dust in solid shape is a chemical. Fumes, gases, mist, vapors, liquid, hydrocarbon, solvents and lead. Even at your site, several chemicals could be there, using for different processes. Radiation, could be lightning issues, welding arcs, solar rays, microwaves, even lasers and x-rays. That is the reason in hospitals, in Mustashfa, why they keep us away from x-ray rooms, you know. So, that's a kullu khatra, doesn't? Health hazards and safety hazards? No. That's a kullu khatra, no? Noise and vibration, temperature. So, as a lazim control, mafi control, khalas. All the hazards must be controlled through engineering controls, administrative, or maybe we can try some uh, PPs also. But PP is of course the last step, but before that we have to think about what engineering solutions are possible or administrative controls we can implement. So anyone who would be capable to identify categorically these 10 hazards can be a best safety leader. Now, we have a kind of group exercise, but uh, we can discuss individually here. The exercise is spot the hazards. I will show you one picture. Now, the first thing is uh, you need to think about either it's a 
सेफ्टी हेजर्ड और हेल्थ हेजर्ड देन यू नीड टू थिंक अबाउट सब कैटेगरी बाय लुकिंग एट द पिक्चर यू नो Other lazim shuf sura and find out khatra. Other which category and a uh, misal or you know khatra majood actually in the picture in the sura. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let me show you uh, picture number one or sura one. Okay, Shuf. Is this Surah One? Ah, I see this one. Hey, Aisha, Aisha, Galat, Aisha, a a khatra majood or maafi majood? Here is this uh, cylinder. Okay. Is, uh, is this uh, machine for uh, a spark? Uh huh. I think dangerous with maafi uh, quiz, cylinder. Huh? ما في كويس هذا خطرة. لا لا نوت. خطرة زيادة. اه سبارك نوت نوت جود بسيد سلندر. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Perfect ما شاء الله. Excellent. Any other? Thank you. Hazar. Do you think any electrical hazard is there? Electrical. See. Under the spark. Uh, this one uh, lower. Mush- As a muscular. Uh, Tausil. Carbon muscular. Oh. Yes. Tausil. And shoot for the mechanical hazard. This one. So electrical, mechanical, gravity, something can fall down. Uh, th- uh, the all safety uh, hazards. Uh, yeah, all safety hazards are here. Like electrical, mechanical, motion, gravity, and pressure, all kulu khamsa khatra majud hi na. This khamsa mag five here. Yeah, all this khamsa khatra majud hi na. All hazards, khamsa hazards like safety hazards, kulu majud hi na. Electrical, mechanical, gravity, motion, and pressure. As a mechanical, shuf. Gravity. Shuf. Gravity. Is the has the center of gravity is not there. Maybe you know. Shuf as a muffy leveled, you know, muffy in the center, muffy in the middle. Ah, uh, gravity. Ah, uh, they fix it good. Exactly. Uh, so the fault. After finishing and cutting, they make problem. Gravity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shuf. Atnan sura. ऐशा गलत ऐशा खतरा मौजूद ही ना और माफी शुभ अदर ओवरहेड पावर लाइंस सो इलेक्ट्रिकल हेज़ेड एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट मोर डीपली माफी बेरिकेशन यू नो सो कुल्लू गलत बाय द वे या माफी यू नो Like no no barrication, nothing. No person might be the person is not trained also. Even no planning, like no proper plan actually. No respect to safety regulation. The wires are out. Yeah, overhead power lines. Show oh. further. Shufina, 
اب ذکرین تلاتا سورہ تلاتا لک لک ایز شوف ایز ا لیڈر دس لیڈر از ا مافی طریقہ صحیح لیڈر مافی کوئس یو نو دس سٹرپ بروکن even the angle is not 75 degree even the foot is not skewered three point of contact is not there because one hand already is uh, taking the tools with him and show for the ground mafi quiz kullu khatrat ha مافی صحیح مافی رول سلام اینی وے لک ایٹ دا فوک لیفٹ آپریٹر لک ایٹ دس جینٹل مین کل نفر نو رسپیکٹ فار سیفٹی رولس رائٹ even look at this gentleman under the load he is okay this woman under the load oh. exactly under the load and show for the this gentleman he is coming with the load and oh, could under he... the pipes the load yeah exactly and shuf this atnan uh, nafar and shuf as this gentleman because this forklift operator he can't see in front you know so mafi salama safety means khatra zyada the more the hazards are there more probability of accidents more chances of accidents so kullu waqt lazim safety lazim salama you know yeah shuf as a sura arba fire exit has a blocked hina right of uh, rest uh, woman and uh, this uh, gentleman i think under the block the yes. screen also uh, the ladder this one technician not uh, yeah. stand good okay. excellent mashallah you can identify go ahead excellent uh, beside him this this one uh, using the a crane speaking in telephone uh-huh. uh, showing up the uh-huh. working at height ladder size is not good working alone oh. and a lot of shortcuts right I- so uh, that is the uh, number one job of a safety leader safety officer or supervisor or safety manager wherever they go lazim identify the hazards unsafe facts unsafe conditions aisha galat lazim stop and correct and also if you can't stop at least report report to your supervisor now the sura number 5 shuf az eh Number five. Is it the sahi tarika for lifting the load? Manual handling. 
है जो तरीका सही और माफी सही गलत शिफ हज बॉक्स लिफ्ट है then see the floor see the dustbin even the ways are blocked the walking ways look at this gentleman समटाइम ऐसे नेवर ट्राई टू बी अ हीरो डोंट शो योर हीरोइजम इट्स अ प्रोजेक्ट साइट इट्स नॉट अ प्ले ग्राउंड सॉरी अगेन बिकॉज सिग्नल लिटिल वीक बस نيزه ما في مشكل هذا شوف هذا النفر sometimes say don't be a hero it's a project site it's not a ground it's not a play ground to be to show your heroism you know Okay, so look at another one. Kulu side khatra majud, huh? Hello. Hello. Yes, uh, Mr. Shama. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes. I think uh, I have a problem in signal, or I can't hear you. Good. I now hear you. No, has the sura sura visible? Uh, it's first this uh, hammer. Exactly. Okay. What else? This one. Uh, This one, I think, uh, have up this worker. Uh, what this one? Vibe or like that? Yeah. Look at the gentleman. You know, he's coming with the load. Oh. Oh. सो हजर कुल्लू साइड खतरा मौजूद है लुक एट द लास्ट पिक्चर दिस पिक्चर कंप्लीटली कंप्लीट कंस्ट्रक्शन साइड ओके this one with screen stand of uh, screen mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then i was this one mm -hmm. yeah. and show further show for the scaffolding ladder uh, no protection underground ladder. cables poor shop floor management hi fire hazard because of chemical poor waste management poor transportation hi. you know unsafe transportation of different loads and pallets bad practice of mechanical activities and look at the scuff folders you know 
even the footing not skewed not lever so it's a perfect example the mixture of unsafe effects and conditions so this is the challenge you know if we have such kind of safety culture terrible safety culture then of course things would be really hard to control but yes impossible is nothing so we have to try we have to try area wise or sometime maybe stop the whole activity or project sometime and let them correct and restart the project activities you know otherwise these violations people would be addicted with these violations and once they'll be addicted with bad practices it's hard to make them understand what is safety culture what is safety system what is the value of safety rules you know Uh, just one more picture sometime you have system but the mindset is not there to follow like pps are provided warning signs are this one uh, played but nobody is following like no is, uh, besides uh, fuel yeah even fire exit block even health and safety poster is she likes bike poster by the way even guard is there but not being used even tripping hazard is there spillage is found hard hat area but he is not using the helmet right even poor lifting practices fire exit is blocked stacking is unsafe <laughs> Also, liquid on on the floor, I think. Yeah. 